Blind skateboarder Justin Bishop rolls his cane back and forth. I have a disease called uh, retinitis uh, pigmentosa. I'm fully blind in this eye. Pap's left eye. In this eye, um, my uh, retinal is detaching right now, so I can see Close up of eye. shapes and shadows out of the corner of uh, this eye, like right there. Points to peripheral. Skateboarding's everything to Justin. It's really important to him. It's not just a hobby. Carol Fave, Justin's girlfriend. A montage of young Justin. Before I lost my vision, skating was the best thing ever. It consumed my life. Jovan Bergeron. For me, it was it was interesting because I would see him every day at the skate park. Eventually, he stopped showing up. When he found out that he was starting to lose a vision, he was really depressed. You know, I, I was depressed too. I, you know, you curse God. You know, why why you make this happen to him? But then you realize. It happened to him because he can handle it. Jeff Bishop, Justin Stat, Mick Ebling, founder at Not Impossible. Absurdity projects are a byproduct of our infatuation at Not Impossible of solving things that we see just have to be solved. Michaela Lee Manawis. The Absurdity Project came about after Mick had spoke at our March 2018 All Hands. I remember he had mentioned briefly that he had rode a skateboard. Kind of hit home for Mick also. I know what it's like, I know the feeling. We've launched an initiative called the Absurdity Project, which is crowdsourcing, going out to the crowd and asking people what is absurd and who is your one. We Tyler have, Williams, uh, Fungineer at Zappos. He actually works on my team. He's a videographer named Jovan, who's a skateboarder, an amazing skateboarder. Jovan performs the flip. Joe's absurdity was, is there a way that Justin can go back to skating the way that he used to? Because he was an incredible skater. Justin performs Flamingo. He was on a trajectory to go to go pro. He's amazing. I think I remember telling him, like, I think we're going to change the world. I think we're gonna make a really big difference in the world, and it starts here. Justin and Mick walking out of skate park, followed by Tony Long, innovator at Not Impossible Labs. We began this project in late summer of 2018. What's up, Justin? How you feel, man? What do you think of this place? We've been looking at different ways that we could develop this solution that would give Justin the perspective and the ability to understand his environment. Trying to make a sort of structured sound environment so that as Justin goes through the skate park, he has like geographical markers that he can use. Justin using speakers while doing a frontside 180 nose grab tail stall. In the end, what we created was this sound array. Sound array speakers. We've created these little speakers that create a directional beam of sound. So it acts as a really kind of focused acoustical marker. I call it kind of like soundscape because like I can map out what I'm skating in my head by the different sounds and how it's hitting my ears. Right about here. You're on a fast moving surface that's coming up to very hard surfaces in a very rapid way. He performs a blunt to 5-0 stall. There is this need to be able to navigate the world rapidly and precisely. Land's hand plant. Andrew Devitt, Justin's boss and owner at Sports. You can get really fixated as again as a skateboarder, as an athlete, in this one thing. And you can see that obviously with Justin. Like I've seen him just go for the same trick over and over and over. And do it usually, like which is crazy. After several attempts, Justin does a Casper 50-50. Since this technology has kind of came into place, like if anything, he's getting better. He's not just skating from a place of muscle memory of, you know, prior to losing his vision. It's now, you know, I have this technology, I have the, the confidence in this. Let's learn new stuff too. The technology that Not Impossible is creating um, for me to skate, it is, it is dangerous. Frontside 360 over spine fail. Because uh, they got me back in the air, kind of flying again. Ollie in a sixth air in front of Caesar's Palace. His patience is unbelievable. He has this perspective. If I can do something being blind, 360 indie grab over spine. you can do it with your sight. And we're going to get through it together. Justin and Carol interacting. I think that he is just a really good example. I haven't done that since. You know, he motivates me on a daily basis. Photo montage. I want to be a sponsored skater again. I miss that. It's not about getting free stuff. It was just about being valued. And um, all this hard work that you're putting into it, it just shows that somebody appreciates it, someone notices it. But uh, you know, you gotta have goals. 
kind of way out there for a reason. At first I thought the output would be the technology, but really the output of the project is Justin. He's the one that can lead to many that I think is really exciting. Justin performs the blunt stall, hand shove it to no stall, revert out. Fade to black. Not Impossible would like to thank Zappos for their support in making skateboarding and eventually the world more accessible for people with impaired vision. Absurdity projects seek to create solutions for one person that will in turn lead to helping many others. Help one, help many. Not Impossible Labs. Zappos.com.